Hello students, welcome to Midha Guru. Now today we're going to talk about a very important constant that is gravitational constant. In fact, in today's video, we are going to derive the gravitational constant. Now you might be wondering that, okay, Newton gave us the gravitational law, which states force is actually equal to some constant times the product of the masses of the objects divided by the squared of the distance between them. But do you know that the value of gravitational constant was not given by Isaac Newton. Rather, it was given by Sir Henry Cavendish 110 years after the gravitational law was put forth by Isaac Newton. Now, in this video, we are going to derive the gravitational constant using the method used by Sir Henry Cavendish. So, let us start. Now, here I have some values pre-written. These are mass of Earth, radius of Earth, an object with an assumed mass of 1 kg which is lying on the surface of Earth. Then we have acceleration due to gravity which is 9.811 meter per second square. Now if you remember using the gravitation's law, we can write that force on an object is actually equals to g m1 m2 by r square. Now here in this scenario we can say that m1 is the mass of Earth m2 is the mass of object and r square is the distance between these two objects which in our case is actually the radius of the earth. Now we know one more way to calculate the force exerted on an object. This is the weight of the object. Weight is nothing but the gravitational force exerted on any object on the surface of the earth. Now we know that this gravitational force F or in other words the weight W of an object can be calculated as mass into acceleration due to gravity. Here the mass of the object is 1 kg and acceleration due to gravity is 9.811. Hence the weight of an object is 9.811 Newton. Now this is the force exerted by earth on the object and we know that this is also the same thing. So I can say that 9.811 is equals to g times m1 m2 by r squared. So from here I can write g is equals to 9.811 times r square divided by m1 times m2. So this is nothing but 9.811 times 6.371 times 10 to the power 6 whole squared divided by 5.972 times 10 to the power 24 times 1 kg. Next, we can write g is equals to 9.811 times 40.59 which is actually the square of that number we had for the radius of the earth times 10 to the power 12 divided by 5.972 into 10 to the power 24. Now this can be further simplified into g is equals to 398.225 times 10 to the power of 12 divided by 5.972 times 10 to the power of 24 which can further be written as like 398.225 divided by 5.972 times 10 to the power of 12 minus 24. Next, when we simplify this value, we will get the value of g as 66.704 times 10 to the power of minus 12, which if we are writing it in scientific notation, we know that we should have only one integer number and rest should be the decimal. So we can write g as 6.6704 times 10 to the power of minus 11. So we can see here clearly that we have actually derived the gravitational constant. Now, if you enjoyed this video, then please do like, comment and subscribe to our channel, Midaguru.